say free turkey? Yeah. Okay, we're listening. <laughs> All right, let's look at what's happening here. Temperature turbulence has been on for so many people in the nation. Look at Lower Broadway. It's a mild morning, but last Thursday it was sub record highs in many of the places you see highlighted here. So today, here's who needs to be on the lookout for some of these warm temps. Uh, enjoy them if you're into this, and it's going to be quite toasty. Remember, this is coming off one of the warmest summers on record. We've had these little dips of cold, but man, that warmth just keeps holding on. Let's get you local weather in 30 seconds. Actress Megan Fox is opening up for the first time a heartbreaking pregnancy loss. Plus, book talk sensation Alex Astor is here talking about the new novel in, in her Light Lark series. So you can't wait for that one. Also, your local news and weather next. In a big way, Megan Maroney tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Also, Larry's going to be live in Nashville with Luke Bryan and Peyton Manning before they host the awards. It's all happening right here tomorrow on GMA. And tonight, of course, Robin's going to join Luke for their CMA special. And the one and only Dolly Parton from Rhinestones to Rock and Roll, which airs at 10 p.m. 9 Central on ABC. You can also stream it tomorrow on Hulu. Certainly looking forward to it. CMAs, it's always a big week. Mm -hmm. Always a big week with that. Thank you. Now to our GMA cover story. Correct. November hot temps. We're talking records falling. Just yesterday, El Paso made it to 87. Tupelo was 83. Memphis, Tennessee, 81. So we've been on this big old ride of a roller coaster of temperatures. You'll see more records fall today from Colorado Springs, likely, to Jackson, Mississippi, all the way to Asheville, where they've had some major fire issues in western North Carolina and actually much of the southern Appalachia because of the dry conditions and because they're a little gusty. So we do have some of the wind gusts today that could top 20, 25 miles per hour when the relative humidity goes down in the lower afternoon once they kind of separate the dew point and temperature throughout the day, you have a higher fire danger for sure. So take some extra care there. Let's get a check a little closer to home. All right, then we're yeah. getting in the holiday spirit this morning, helping Disney kick off its ultimate toy drive. Every year, Disney joins forces with Toys for Tots to bring toys to millions of children during the holiday season. And none of it would be possible without volunteers across the country like our guest. On with your life. And for me, I think it was very obvious um, as I was aged. Uh, provide some of the, the toys it needed. Give a little bit of a head start through Shop Disney. We're going to yeah. provide lots of toys for your local chapters for Toys for Tots. 150 boxes we received for um, I have kids happy this year. So meaningful. And speaking of making you happy, we know that you have a birth. We are thrilled that we were able to provide this opportunity for your family. To come. You have a it would be complete without a trip to Broadway. Toy online or in person, just scan the QR code on screen to learn more about Disney.com slash toy drive. Coming up, Prince William announces the Earthshot Prize Award winners. Talk about an opening day that's coming from Mammoth. That is November 10th, this Friday. So they're starting to get a little bit of that snow naturally. I'm sure we're looking at Lake Tahoe, California. Also have had some winter weather in the last week or so. So they're starting to get the season started. Much of Colorado has open resorts. Um, but what will happen is we'll get more of these fronts. Winter weather advisories still in parts of the central Sierra Nevada. And then wind alerts in parts of Arizona and New Mexico. Some cooler air finally coming there because they've been pretty warm. And then here's the snow forecast for the next 40 Eight hours. Let's get a check now. Look closer to home. For having me. So this is not your first rodeo. You were here on this show back in August of 2022, talking about the excitement of getting Light Lark. Amazing. So now I'm back with the second book and Light Lark. A huge yes. audience. That, so if anyone that isn't familiar, Light Lark is about an island that appears once every hundred years to host a game until the very last page. And Nightbane, which is out now, yes. So, right. And they weren't going to change. So the the challenge is in the works. There's so much that's happening. The edge of our seats <laughs> there, Alex. Before we go, advice for for anybody who no such thing as an overnight success so histories in so many aspects of life alex thank you so thank much you. continued success to you want to let our viewers know nightbane is now a thanks for watching everyone have a great day See you later.